we were chatting and we were like, when we first got our Vitas, this was like the first game that we all played. Uh, it's, it's been a while, so it's kind of nice to it come back to it. It was amazing, wasn't it? An amazing technical showcase. We decided we'll, we'll go for the beginner course. We're, we're doing the beginner course. <laughs> I looked at Rob and I was like, maybe later on you could do the expert one. He was like, no, we're, do, <laughs> we're going to do the beginner course. Look how pretty it looks. The art style was always incredible on Vita anyway. It looks absolutely And now it's just like, this is enough. And I love the... Uh, Can you do the... Does it move? Not on this Lost one, one, no. Oh, we'll later on. We'll do it later. Do it later. And now, the cutscene style was always absolutely amazing in Gravity uh, Rush, the beautiful comic book just panels. With all the, especially later on when we have the bigger cutscene, it's so pretty. Uh, for any of you who are actually physically here and watching this, uh, you can actually play Gravity Rush around the corner in the Big in the Japan section. It's Gravity Rush, uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse is there, and Final Fantasy XV, obviously. And you can watch all the really Wally. cool uh, Japanese trailers that were released for, like, Persona. So if you haven't seen the Persona 5 Japanese trailer, oh my god, it's amazing. I mean, I just love just looking at this game. Look at that, off in the distance. The art style is everything. Useful, isn't it? I just want to leap off there, Holly, and start manipulating uh, gravity. Soon, Rob. We're still a beginner. We must not leap off things when we are beginners. Do you remember, like, the PS2 days where you could tell how good, like, games were, like, and if they had, like, wind elements, like, if the <laughs> scarf blew in the right direction, or, like, just, oh, so cool. The art style is absolutely stunning in this game. Look, Look at, at that. that! That's just... It's so colourful as well. Time for a little tutorial. Do the tutorial, Rob. Do the thing. Collect, collect the things. Collect the pink things. I oh, nailed that. Well, I mean, you're a champion, really. I mean, you're just the best ever go. at this game. This is where it gets good. And look, I love the way you can aim the camera by the using shock. the... Uh, So satisfying that panic. Now I'm running up a wall. As you do, ca casual wall run. So yeah, Rob is actually using the gyro on the Dual Shock 4 to sort of guide where he wants to go. With that, you then so you press R1 to float, use your Dual Shock to aim, and then if you hit R1 again, you sort of go towards that towards direction. And you can press L1, I think, to return gravity to normal. But who wants to do that? Normal gravity is boring. It's such a satisfying mechanic, it really is. It's so easy to control as well. And here we go, now we can just return to normal. So I'm gonna leap off fall. and just fall towards the normal ground. To normal people. How does it feel then compared to Vita for you? It feels remarkably similar because you can use the gyro in the DualShock 4 as you would use the Vita to, con to control the camera. And so, it doesn't really feel any different, which Just, is remarkable. Because hands up, who here has PlayStation Vita consoles? And then when you like, people are like, well, what game should I play? Is it you? It's the same as me. Obviously Gravity there. Rush is always one of those games I recommend. Gravity Rush, Tear Away, Persona 4 Golden. This is always one of those, like, you must play this game. Yeah, it was definitely. This, Uncharted Golden Abyss, the two games I would always recommend to An people. An incredible Uncharted okay, game Okay, I've got to well. try and stop just before I hit the ground. Okay, so you're, you're gonna okay, like go. not fall to your doom. Oh, and can I enjoy it right? Oh, that was actually really it. well done. There we go. Learn to the gravity controls. You did a gravity, well done. Yes. And I did not make an absolute fool of myself. Not today. Just a slight fool. <laughs> it's a long day yet, Rob. We've got Final Fantasy 12 to go through oh, later on as well. We've got Rocket League next, haven't we? I've got to play Dave at Rocket League. That's only going to go one way. By the way, if any of you uh, know the Access team, uh, Dave and Rob are playing Rocket League after this, and it's Dave's birthday today. So he's, he's allowed to go for breakfast this morning. But after that, it stops. Why am I running? Why am I running through the street? I think all the people have just gone with you. I don't run. Oh, sorry, people. I've ruined your you day. Like, I don't want to run anymore. I'm just going to I'm going to travel fly. like this. 
Oh, there are some, there are some bad things here. Let's kill them. I love these things. Again, the combat. Oh. I love her combat style. It's great. This is... You're playing this like an E3 demo professional. Don't say that yet. There's loads <laughs> more to come. Like, I've got to fight floating enemies now. I love... Uh, I won't say about it. Let's just actually show people. So you can lift things into the air and just gravity throw objects, tables. I guess this is what the PS4 can like give it, right? It's just yeah. there's so much more it can give now it's on PS4 as well. Have some furniture. There we go. Have some furniture. Done. Enjoy that umbrella. That was incredibly satisfying. Here's my favourite bit. Well done for killing all those demons. Have a chicken skewer. Like, Thanks. I wouldn't have said no to that yesterday because we didn't even have lunch. I ate a toffee crisp and you had a Thanks whisper. Thanks for the chicken skewer. But look at this seagull. Unbelievable. Gutsy. That's a gutsy it seagull. Reminds me of when I go on holiday to Cornwall and they steal my pasties. Right. Chase the bird, Rob. I will. The bird doesn't know that this person, this human, can... Oh, I've mucked up already, Holly. There we go. Oh, Rob, into the okay. TV. It's all right. I can just fall through here. I mean, for me, this is a, a game that really kind of uh, is suited to controlling with the gyro, more so than many other uh, games that I've played. Just the fact that I can shift my perspective. So you're doing so much better than me, because when I played it, I sort of periodically had to sort of stop to like rest on the you wall. You can also reset the camera with uh, R3 at any time, which is very useful. Get that seagull, Rob. Oh, I will. Normal gravity. Oh well, she's just given up on her skewer. I mean, would you want it after the seagull had I had it, Rob? Not. Like, I, I would have just let it go. Just the principle of it, though. It's the principle. Yeah. We're going to get one of those cool cutscenes in a minute where you can actually manipulate the panels. Like, are you like boxes? Here we go, look. What boxes? Look at that. Love this. I love it. I can but just how stay simple doing is something forever. like that, though? And it just looks so cool. It's a brilliant way to do uh, story scenes, I think. It's just Japan Studio at its finest, isn't it? Like, just all the little details are just there. It's got an art style that's like, there's nothing else like it. I hope you guys can read quickly, by the way, because apparently Rob is a really I'm quick really reader. I'm really quick at reading. Well, that's all the years of Final Fantasy. Because <laughs> I'm the same. I'm just like, okay, okay, okay. Well, you know, just We get just it. Educate. You'll highlight it in blue if I need to find it. <laughs> also, I have seen this scene twice already yeah, yeah, this we've, morning. Yeah, we've also already practiced. Forbidden cargo. <laughs> All right, I'll get those crates back for you. Come on. A flying thief. This seems like a job for cats, doesn't it? And gravity manipulation. Yes, okay. Chase the thief. Let's go. My pleasure. That is good, Rob. Smooth, wasn't it? I love the way you can just stop it halfway through. Just like realign and like just get back in control. Got you, thief. This is a suspiciously open area, isn't it? Mm, I wonder I what wonder could what, happen here. What could take place in this large open area? Absolutely. Unless you're in real trouble, then you should evade. Obviously. Now it gets trickier. 
And this is where Gravity Rush really comes into its own, when you have to fight enemies in midair with gravity kicks. Oh, that's but so it's pretty. also when it looks oh, it's so, so good. And it looks spectacular, but it's so easy to pull off. Oh, there's lots of them now. I love Special this Special attack time. And the special attack is just really is special. Yes, come on, it's Rob. called special attack for come a reason. On, Rob. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, one more, one more. Oh, you lost it. Gravity kick. Have some of that. Boom. Oh no. Oh look! <laughs> a bigger one for you to find. Maybe I should use evade now, do you think? No. No. Just attack. Have some of that, some of that. I'm gonna try and get rid of his armor, I think. Special attack time. That is amazing. Get rid of that armor. Oh, it's hit me. Oh no, I have Did one. It. That's just how good floating. I am at the game. Rob, what have you done? <laughs> floating through the ground. That's yeah, how powerful sure. you were. And that was smooth. Really and it was absolutely beautiful as well. One day you'll be able to demo on stage at E3 with those skills. No. no. Nice developer slope Never hand doing that. show off the Never environment. Never doing that. <laughs> but I can't wait to play more of this game. Look at it though. This is this it's is my jam. It's going to be stunning.